Because I could dance with you forever. Well, why not? This is heaven, ain't it? <laughs> Buzz, Judy, you shake. Hi, hey, Mr. Peters. Got your hands full, huh? Yeah, lots of people need help, Buzz. You know, my best friend in high school was named Boone. Hot Rod Boone. Uh, yes, we know. Cindy is uh, Rodney's daughter. Hot Rod's kid? Who's taking this case? Well, I don't know. I haven't assigned it yet. Whoever's available next. Oh, well, Mr. P, this is my best bud's daughter you're talking about here. You can't give this assignment to just anybody. I want to take but it. But, Buzz, you've already earned your wings. There's no reason for you to leave heaven again. I know. I. But me and Hot Rod go back a long, long way. And... We got this little problem we never got settled. Well, this assignment is to help his daughter, not Hot Rod. You sure you want to leave heaven? Yeah. I'm sure. I gotta try to make things right between me and Hot Rod. So what's the matter with the girl? Besides the fact she's a lousy dresser. Well, uh, Cindy's a junior in high school. She works in her father's gas station every day. Uh, she's a nice girl. Pretty, when she lets herself be. But she really lacks self-confidence. And lets people walk on her. Yeah, I'm afraid so. She needs somebody to show her how to take charge of her life. She needs confidence. Gotcha. Consider it done. Cindy. Those pumps are looking spick and span. Serve at self serve prices. Yo, Cindy, uh, give me 10 cents of premium and uh, don't forget to wash my windows, huh? Oh, I think she has a crush on you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You know something, Boone? I still want this property. Yeah. Yeah, I need this dump so I can build my mini-mall. This town's got enough mini-malls, Donato. There's only one 1950s gas station. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's one more than we need. Now, come on, Boone. I know you're three months behind in your payments, and there's no way you're gonna come up with ten grand in the next two weeks. And when you're out of here, that's when I take over. Hey, when the going gets tough, it's tough to get going. But you're not tough, Boone. You're just broke. <laughs> Fill her up. Oh, and be careful not to spill any gas on your darling little outfit. It's already full. 
Oh, is that all I needed? Well, since I'm here, why don't you uh, wipe my windows, check my oil, put some air in my tires. Oh, and make sure you wipe off my headlights, too, okay? Hey, come on, give her a break. Brian, Cindy doesn't mind. It's her job. <laughs> hey, look, you don't have to do any more. We got to get going. Okay, kids. We've had enough fun here for one day. Same time, same place tomorrow. Cindy! Oh! Hate when I do that, you know? Those Donatos. You okay? Yeah. I know, it's tough. But the world is filled with jerks like the Donatos. We just gotta learn to deal with them. Yeah, I know. It's just that when it comes time to doing something about it, I just... I just wimp out. I tried to do the best I can for you, Cindy. But sometimes I wish your mom was here to help. Like she'd have you wearing makeup instead of grease. Jenny boy, get me a rubber mallet. Go on. for gas. I came for you, Cindy. What? FBI? No. Guardian Angel. I'm here to help make your dreams come true. You're my guardian angel? Name's Gunderson. Buzz Gunderson. You wouldn't mind doing my windows, would you? I uh, picked up a lot of stardust out there. Hmm. Stardust, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I wish that girl would take some time off. But this is all a joke, isn't it? I'm... I don't hear any hearty har hars. Look, maybe I should go get my dad. I mean, he's really into old cars and stuff. Your dad? Your dad. <laughs> Man, he turned into his dad. You and your dad used to be best friends, you know? He never mentioned anyone named Buzz. Look, I'll just tell my dad you're here. Uh, there's no reason to tell him, Cindy. He can't see me or my car. No, you can. Wait a minute. Okay, the Donatos put you up to this, didn't they? What's a Donato? Okay, don't act dumb. What? I'm not acting. Okay, well, then you're just crazy. Well, I am. Cindy! I came all the way from heaven! Each time I ask the stars I don't think you're ever gonna leave the 50s. The 50s were the greatest. I met your mom, Chevy made the best cars, and rock and roll was young. 
I guess you're the only great thing about the 90s. Worried about taking your driving test tomorrow? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Don't sweat it. You'll pass this time. Dad, back in the 50s, did you know somebody named Buzz? Where'd you hear that name? I don't know. Were you digging through your mother's things? No. Well, I never want you to mention Buzz in this house again. Dad, am I losing my mind? No. I must be. For yelling at you. Let's just forget all this and get ready. Remember, Mr. Henderson, the tool salesman, invited us to dinner. Do they? A lot of people have sons your age. It's no big deal. Yeah, well, it's not a setup. It's just a casual dinner. I'm not going in. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, what a pretty oh. washini. I can't wait for you to meet my son. Come on in, Ron. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Jeff! Our hair's yeah. Jeff, come here! So what do you do for fun, Cindy? Well, um, I like to work on cars. Oh, she loves to rebuild carburetors. Oh, how interesting. You don't talk much, do you, Cindy? But you know what they say, you gotta watch out for the quiet ones, huh? Hey, wait, I know how she feels. I mean, I used to be like that. But then I discovered... magic. Oh. <laughs> no wonder she had trouble talking. <laughs> Jeff's quite a natural entertainer. <laughs> oh, takes a little getting used to. Help her, honey. I'll get some water. Sure looks like you could use a guardian angel right now. What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, I live here. That's my mom. Well, big fella. Oh, TMP. Too much pizza. Doesn't anyone see him? See who, honey? Dad, the guy right there with the black leather jacket on? Yeah, keep talking, kid. They're gonna put you in the funny farm. Hey, wait. I can see him. You do? Sure I can. Because I've... I've got... Magic glasses. Eh? <laughs> and I can see the, the, the magic oh, lemons. The lemons. Okay. Do the lemons. Yeah. 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 Oh. Incredible. It is a magic lemon. Oh. Jeff, I'm a Don't touch the lemon. Get the video here. That's Joe. fabulous. Get the video. How did you get the yeah. data. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Don't, don't touch it. I just got in the game. Dad, no more casual dinners, okay? Thanks, Cindy. I'm for real. Look, I came here to help you get your act together. Doing good deeds is my thing. Yeah, well, if you're such a good guy, then why did my dad blow up when I mentioned your name? He blew up? Afraid so. Like I said, some sort of bad word or something. Well, we did have a hassle right before I split. I never knew what it was about, but that was 30 years ago. Hot Rod still can't be mad at me, can he? <laughs> Hot Rod? My dad's name was Hot Rod. Listen, I know it's hard, but you gotta believe me. Great.
too lame. Here, guardian angel at your service. So, ready to start changing your life? You know, I'm really having trouble figuring all this out, okay? Now, most likely I've lost my mind, but even if you are an angel, I, I don't need your help. Look, Cindy, heaven knows you need help or they wouldn't have sent you a guardian angel. Okay. Okay, Mr. Guardian. If you really are an angel, then make a bowl of milk appear for this kitty. <laughs> what do I look like, a cow? I'm an angel. Ready to get your license? Oh, Daddy, I just know I'm going to mess up parallel parking. If I fail again... But you'll be fine. You just got to believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it. Yeah, but what if I get Mr. Duffy again, Daddy? You know I won't get my license. It's not <laughs> Mr. Funny. Duffy won't remember you. He tests hundreds of people. <sighs> my name is Mr. Duffy, and... I remember you. Couldn't parallel park to save your life. As I said before, I believe no one under the age of 21 years should drive a car. Unfortunately, our misguided lawmakers disagree. Fortunately, I have the power to fail those who are unfit to drive. Oh, no. You're not real. I beg your pardon, miss. I'm very real, as you will discover when you get your score. Look, I hate to butt in, but uh, we got some business to take care of, huh? You have a defective door and seat. Things aren't going very well for you, young lady. Now, just relax, proceed out the driveway, and turn right. Is your turn signal on, young miss? Look, you gotta admit, you do have a problem. Yeah, you're my problem. You're right, young lady. I am your problem. As of this moment, you're failing my test. Why? Because I say so. You, you don't understand. I have to pass this test. My dad needs me to pick up and deliver things, and, and, and he's really depending on me. Please, will you just give me a chance? All right. Your last chance is parallel parking. <laughs> Just turn the corner here and park in the space behind that yellow Volkswagen. It's gonna take a miracle for me to fit in there. No fret. No sweat. <laughs> Okay, bring it straight back, straight back, straight back, left, left, left. Good, good, bring it back, straight back, straighten it out, straighten it out. Nice driving, kiddo. You know, I knew you could do it. I still cannot believe I got my license. It's a miracle. Yeah. It's just a start. Yeah, I mean, man, I don't really need anything else. You mean you've got everything exactly the way you want it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, there must be something you want. Nope, not a thing. It's Brian. Fill her up. Yeah, right, fill her up. You 
You don't have to do my windows. It's part of our service. You two make a cute couple, you know? I have an eye for that kind of thing. Stop. I would never go for someone like me. You like him and he likes you. It's ABC. A, abundantly clear. <laughs> Flies are everywhere. Cindy, now that you're a real live driver, can you run over to Al's and pick up the spark plugs? Yes! Mm -hmm. Daddy, these are the wrong keys. No, they're not. They're not the wrong keys, Cindy. They're the keys to... Your car. You giving me Mom's car? Your mom wanted you to have it after you got your license. That's why we kept it all these years. <laughs> no, it ain't got fins, but... Uh, I want to... Try out the keys. <laughs> Man, I guess they didn't make all the great cars in the 50s, huh? Go on. <laughs> Come on, let's cruise. So you do daydream about Brian, don't you? No. Well, a little. But, I mean, nothing will ever come of it. It's just make-believe. Hey, if you want a dream to come true, don't make-believe. You can make it. Come on, he has Carrie Donato. She has everything. Who's Carrie Donato? She's... That's Carrie Donato and her creepy brother, Kelvin. Your dad is gas station's history. <laughs> Great. Scratched. I knew it. I knew it. I just never should have taken it out. I should have just left it in the garage where it belongs, where it's safe. Yeah, safe. But going nowhere. Cars are made to drive, Cindy, just like people are made to live. So your ego gets scratched a little bit. So what? Is there any reason to lock yourself in a garage and just give up, huh? Buzz, I'm not a car. Yeah, but the Donatos treat you like one. They treat you like a junker. They're running all over you, Cindy, and the worst thing is you let them. I know. Okay, I know. But what am I supposed to do, huh? You gotta get up. You gotta get in the driver's seat and you gotta take control. You gotta drive wherever you wanna drive. Or people like Carrie are just gonna keep running you off the road. You got that? Yes. Look, the only thing that Carrie's got that you don't is confidence. Right. Hey, if you believe in yourself, there's nothing you can't do. <laughs> One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. Put your glad rags on, join me home. We'll have some fun when the clock strikes one. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. 
We're gonna rock, rock, rock over all day long. We're gonna rock, gonna rock, go around the clock tonight. When the clock strikes two, three and four, if the band slows down, we'll yell for more. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock over all day long. 